What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, today we are going to talk about one inch. All right, guys, one inch is everything but that. Dude, this thing is like one billion inches. This thing is fire. I love one inch. Why do I like one inch, guys? Well, one inch gives you the best prices any and everywhere you go. I mean, sure, you got Uniswap, you got Quick Swap, you got Lip Pop and Poop Pop. Guys, but one inch is fire sauce. There's no such thing as Poop Pop, by the way, guys. Don't try to look that up. Some goofy stuff will probably show up. Don't do it. All right, so one inch is pretty cool. But by the way, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do three things for me. Like, subscribe, bell button. Leave a comment below in the description saying you subscribe. You will automatically get thrown into a drawing to earn $100 in free BTC and maybe even a poop pop. You can feed it to your dog. All right, and the other thing, guys, we have a Ethereum giveaway going on. It's between y'all. Uh, there is the address in the description below just so you guys can experience and understand how cryptocurrency works. Um, if you guys send any amount of Ethereum, it could be a penny, 10 cents, 20 cents, or whatever you want. Um, anyone who at random is going to be selected through that list of wallet addresses on June 30th. That's when we're having the BTC drawing as well, guys. Um, but any of the wallet addresses that interacted with that wallet will randomly get some, well, Ethereum. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into one inch. We're going to break down a couple things and explain it. But first off, what you guys need to know is it's a DEX aggregator. Now, what the pants is an aggregator? Well, it looks like it's egg regator with an A. So it looks like eggs regators. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just kidding, guys. So an aggregator is like honey. So if you know what honey is, or better yet, Walmart. Everyone knows Walmart gives the best prices, right? Uh, well, if they don't, all you got to do is say, oh, well, I found it over here and it's a lower price here. Oh, okay, we'll match it. So what a Dex or DeFi aggregator in this scenario is it looks for the best prices on all the different exchanges and gives you the best rate. And I'm going to show you guys this in this example right now. So we're going to take, let's just do Titan. We've been doing a lot of videos on Titan right now. We'll just say we'll swap one Titan for some, let's say, let's, let's do die because we can do die. All right. So see, it's $40 and 85 cents. Now we go on quick swap and we'll do some Titan. So one Titan for some die. So as you guys can see, one die is going to get you $40 and 78 cents. Well, you don't have to go to geometry class to understand. Well, now it's $40 and 79 cents. You can understand you're getting more if you use one inch than you would quick swap. Oh, look, see now it's 4073. And over here, it's, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, 4080. So guys, look, there's already an eight cent spread. And now you're like, well, who cares? It's only eight cents. Okay, well, now let's do this. Just add a couple zeros to that joker and see how that changes for you. 399441. So now let's add a couple zeros to this one. I don't even remember how many we added under that. 10,000? Okay, so let's take away one. So 10,000. $370,000, right? Over here, we're going to get $399,000. $29,000 is a big difference, right? Okay, that's my point, guys. Um, that's how one inch works. That's how a DEX aggregator works. That's the easiest way to understand one inch. And a couple things you guys need to know on one inch is they have some pretty cool features that are not on every other decks or other exchanges. They have things where you can be like, bro, I want the lowest gas cost. Now you guys are like, well, that doesn't really matter. Well, the reason why lowest gas cost matters is because one inch is a multi chain DEX aggregator. So this is also on Ethereum. You guys remember how juicy those Ethereum gas fees were? Well, that's the point. You can go for someone at the lowest gas rate, or you can be like, no, nah, I want the max return. In this scenario, we're on Polygon, so we're always going to get max return, period. That's it. That's what we're going to do. This is a multi-chain. This is on Binance and Ethereum. It's not just Polygon. So you can use Polygon, Binance, or Ethereum on this. Limit orders are not available on the Polygon chain. Oh, wait. They do have limit orders now. This was not true. Now they have limit orders, dude. Okay, this is pretty fire. They got a little game changer going. So now if you guys want to make a limit order, we're actually going to do this one now because this is kind of cool. I'm going to say one USD. No, I'm going to do one sushi and I'm going to sell one sushi 
for <laughs> 100 die. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, actually, I don't have that much. I got this many sushis. So I'm going to give permission to use sushi and see what happens. Guys, and this is also another important thing. I trust one inch, but you don't have to trust one inch. If you look at these permissions, it looks like I'm allowing unlimited amounts of sushis. If you don't trust a website you're using, use a custom spend limit and say, I only authorize you to spend one sushi. So you can say that in this scenario, we're just going to say, sure, we'll just save it for one sushi. So I'll hit confirm just so you guys can see it. So my transaction is going to go through and we're going to wait and see what happens. All right, guys, I'm losing patience. We're still, oh, wait, guys, that's why you always got to be patient. It just went through. Okay. All right, so now we are going to set our limit order. So I'm going to say a price of 100 die within seven days. So I'm going to review my limit order and verify my order. But wait, I'm going to verify it, make sure I got that right. I'm going to say $100 because, guys, I was reviewing it just to make sure I got it right. But obviously, this isn't going to go through, guys. This is just an example for you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and sign this transaction. So as you guys can see, okay, my limit order went through. And you guys can see right here, it expires on 6 of 21. If that goes through, great. If not, then it is what it is. I can also cancel this order. And then all I have to do is sign in my wallet and pay the gas fee. Yes, it's unfortunate. You got to pay a gas fee. But guys, it's low price on Polygon. So who cares? Um, I don't want to sell my sushi for that price. I guess I could have left it out there. But then again, my sushi would be locked up in a limit order. So I, I guess it, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to play this guessing game. Let's just talk about one inch. So you guys understand it. And if you guys ever want to find any of the active orders that you have, you can go to legacy active orders or you can go to active orders or you can view your order history. So this shows where I had my previous orders that were now, current, later, etc. So now you guys are looking at like what the pants is one inch used for. Like, do they have a governance token? Yes, they do have a governance token and you can state it over, stake it over on the Ethereum network. What is the point of the governance token? Well, it's to use for voting and you use the voting on the DAO. As you guys see, I clicked the section, but DAO for the Polygon network is coming soon. So right now it is not on Polygon. This is more so for ETH. So now, what else do you need to know about one inch? Well, if we go on the Ethereum network, we're going to go ahead and switch. We're going to change our Apple network so you guys can see this. So now we're on Ethereum. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the DAO. So what's cool about the DAO is this is where you can stake your token and you can vote at any time. I highly recommend you guys vote that way when there are airdrops that do come up. You can possibly get an airdrop just for participating in the one inch governance proposal. You can actually view all your token details here. Right now, the current staking APY is 5.64%. I know that's doo-doo, but it's better than Uniswap. Uniswap's not paying anything. If you guys want to participate in any of the pools and add liquidity, you can do that on one inch. However, there are other places where you can add liquidity, like on Uniswap, or you can add it on, um, well, any of them, like SushiSwap, any of the DEXs and aggregators. They have their own farms as well as their own pools that you can deposit into. It's very simple. You click the same button, add liquidity. Make sure you have both of these tokens at a 50-50 rate, and you give the... Uh, permission to authorize and it deposits in there again guys i know i've mentioned this several times but you guys have to be aware of impermanent loss what it's going to do is it will force you to buy the dip on the token that goes down so say you have ethereum and one inch in here if ethereum stays the same and one inch goes down in value you're going to be selling your eth to buy the dip on one inch so if you don't like dip well don't dip your chips in here because it's not going to be worth it but if you, you can also take this strategy as a good thing too. If you're like, bro, I don't know if I bought one inch at a good price and I got some leftover ETH. If it goes up, great. If not, I don't know. I don't want to miss the bottom. So just throw it in liquidity, sit it and forget it. It'll go down. Obviously, it'll earn interest on it too. So it's free exposure earning interest and you'd be okay if you bought it lower. But if you're something like, oh, I never want to buy this token lower, then you do have to be careful with something like that. And then you also have to factor in that the tokens that you do have, if they do dep or are deposited and it explodes to the moon, well, you're going to be getting more Ethereum. I'm okay with that because I'm addicted to this stuff and I cannot get off it. So you guys can scroll down and look through these pools. This pool is awesome right here. This 
Lido pool. Um, I'll do a, another video on this uh, as well, but just giving you guys some alpha and a little hint hint. But what Lido does is it allows you to stake your Ethereum, earn interest on it, and yet you can still use it in other protocols. So similar to something like Ramp DeFi. So it's pretty game changer fire sauce. All right, so guys, that's really one inch in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below. Um, there are a couple of other features I want to show you guys as well. They used to have this Chi gas token thing, um, but that's not, it, you can still use some of it, but it's basically being another, I can't even think of the word, but dated out or whatever that word is. Um, but basically it's phased out. That's what it is. Um, cause there was a improvement proposal that basically was against gas tokens. So do keep that in mind. And yes, you can do limit orders on the Ethereum chain as well. So here's something cool you can do if you're swapping on the price and you're like, Oh snap, I think it's cheaper. You can just hit this quick refresh button and it'll refresh the price for you instantly. And if you ever want to add a custom token, all you got to do is copy and paste any address you want here. There's not going to be every token on here. Um, um, but they do have most of the tokens for the most part, being that it pulls liquidity from Uniswap as well, because guys, this is a DEX aggregator, so it goes everywhere. These are the settings you guys want to know about. You want to change your slippage tolerance to however you want. What you need to understand with slippage tolerance is the higher it goes, this is usually used for tokens that have low liquidity or like those poop coins or junk coins. You can change it to whatever custom slippage that you want. With something that's really tight slippage, this would be something for like stable coins or something that has very high volume on it. So like Bitcoin and Ethereum, they have very high trading volume on it and there's not really much slippage going on. Slippage is basically that thing that's on the floor. Like when a token is like a really low price, it's basically a, or not a low price, but a low volume. It's like a bunch of water on the floor. And as soon as you step on it, it just goes everywhere. Now, Bitcoin and Ethereum, are like your low slippage. So like, it's basically like no water on the floor. You try to scoot your foot on it. You ain't moving nowhere. That's how you can think of slippage. I hope that helps because I just came out with that out of nowhere. So you got gas price too. Gas price is fun. You got this instant or fast and instant. I don't care about this junk. Don't mess with it. I use custom and I already showed you guys the trick. The trick is to go to TX street and basically veg out on these cars just driving by. Um, just don't stay watching too long because you'll probably lose your mind. But it's a lot of fun. Um, you can veg out on this, relax, and it's probably the best channel that's out there. Uh, you just watch these cars and these guys are just like rushing to spend so much money. It's so much fun and you can click on the cars. And All right, guys, we're going to stop wasting time on that. Let's talk about One Inch. Um, and as you guys can see, that car is labeled 21 Gwei. So that's the number we're looking at. So we can be like, oh, okay, well, I want my transaction to go through fast. So I'm going to do 22 Gwei. And then I'm going to say close. When you close it, that's going to save the custom settings that you have. Now, if you guys are like, okay, they're picking from 58 different sources. Now, this is a problem with something with high gas fees is because if it's pulling from different sources, it's going to be different smart contracts that it's going to be interacting with. So your gas fees are going to be super high. Well, not super high, but they're going to be higher than like trading on Uniswap. And you can be like, bro, I want to reset this section and I only want to select certain liquidity sources. Well, I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and reset the selection back to all of them because I'm cool with that. And obviously you have the custom tokens. And then when you have all the factors saved that you want to do, you say close. And once you close it, you say, all right, I'm ready to send all of my money away for dear life. So I just want to show you guys, oh, previous rates expire. What the pants? I got to refresh it. Let's see what our rates are. Refresh. Okay. So now we're going to swap the token just so you guys can see the gas fee. So right now it's estimating the gas fee to be 0.002 ETH. So now let me show you guys an example of a low coin that no one's trading. So let's do 10 set token for example. So we're going to swap this token and I'm going to show you guys how the rates work. So we're going to refresh the price. Let's refresh swap token. Okay. We need to do it again. Okay. So the reason why 10 set didn't um, pull up originally is because I did have to change my slippage. Like I told you it was a low one or a very high slippage token. This is one that has water all over the floor. 
we're going to have to change it to 3%. So I went ahead and changed it to 3%. And now I'm going to show you guys the transaction. As you guys can see, now it's 0.005 ETH because it's going through different routes and um, locations. And that's, that's just what you guys need to know how they're going to be going through. As you guys can see, these are the exchanges they're going to be going through. So right now, one inch is giving the best and the, or Uniswap has a match for it. So basically most of it's going to go through Uniswap. As you guys can see, here's the routing. You have wrapped ETH to 10 set. This tells you the exact direction it's going to be going into. All right, guys, uh, that's one inch in a nutshell. It's definitely not one inch. Um, I think it's a lot more than that. It's awesome. I would call it, yeah, maybe it is called one inch because it gets you like one inch or one centimeter from the price. It's great. I love it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash up the like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new one. And guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, bell button, leave a comment below saying you subscribe and you automatically get thrown into a drawing to earn $100 in free BTC. And of course, guys, we still have the Ethereum thing going on at the end of the month on June 30th. The address is in the description below. If you guys want to participate in that and hopefully win all you got to do is send like 10 cents 20 cents a dollar ten dollars whatever you want to send there it doesn't matter um any of the addresses that interact with that wallet are randomly going to get selected and of course guys i want to say thank you to the patreon members we do have one of them right now it's sean bot uh yes guys i do have a patreon account if you guys want to help it, great if not that's okay. Um, I'll be making these videos, guys. This is just a hobby I like to do. I love teaching people about crypto. I'm glad to have you guys on the journey. And let's leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 24 verses, what is it? 21. Fear the Lord and the King, my son, and do not join with rebellious officials, for those two will send sudden destruction on them. And who knows what calamities they can bring. Guys, this is going on right now in our nation. We're basically a divided nation. If you haven't opened the door and looked out, it's because people are partaking in rebellions and, oh, forget this, do this. It's all kinds of garbage. No, guys, um, we need to come together, be together. I mean, that's that's how we got on top in the first place. We all got together with the Indians, ate corn and had Thanksgiving and went and went or went against the British and was like, oh, this is great. And that's how we became a great nation is because we put all our trust and faith in God. Just look on the back of a dollar bill. It says, in God we trust. I mean, we still have that on the dollar bill, but my opinion why we're going to the CBDC and getting rid of the dollars is because, well, they probably want to get rid of that. As soon as we get rid of that, we're gone. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Dogs, thanks for watching. All right, guys, if you want to catch me on TikTok, I do daily wisdom one-liners and let you guys see the pets and behind-the-scenes junk. So here it is. Scan it. Check it out. Bomb, bomb. All right, so next off, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it, you guys can check out Celsius. Celsius is fire, dude. So what's so cool about Celsius is, guys, first off, you can get $40 in free BTC using my referral link in the description below. Just deposit $100. Add in the uh, code BTC50. You will also get an additional $50 if you deposit $400, guys. It's free BTC. Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. All right, so what the pants is Celsius and BlockFi for? Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading, and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is Crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins, and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's the quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it